Played was an exercise using different groupings of scale steps above and below chord tones and I was getting those chord tones based on the triads of the C major scale and if you like the sound of that and would like to learn how to play that as well as uh, come up with your own exercises keep watching and I'll show you how to do that um, this video is going to cover uh, scale steps below and above in groupings. And the fastest way to demonstrate this is through some basic music theory which I'm going to show you right now. Because this is pattern based we can use this on any major scale. For this demonstration I'm going to use the C major scale simply so that I don't have to say the words sharp or flat. Okay across the top write the notes of the C major scale or whichever major scale that you're going to be working on. And above that, we're going to put Roman numerals. This is going to represent the chord numbers. So if you ever hear of anyone say a 251, 6251, or go to the 5 chord, this is what they're talking about. Uppercase Roman numerals represent major, lowercase Roman numerals represent minor. Notice that 1, 4, and 5 are major, 2, 3, and 6 are minor, and the 7th is a diminished because it also has the minor fifth, the flat five. And now by moving up each degree of the scale and making that new note the root of the chord, we can figure out the different triads by just taking the first, third, and fifth note. So in the first one, the root is C, the third is E, the fifth is G. Go to the two chord, which is gonna be a minor, and we have a D, the third will be F, the fifth will be A. Move up to the three chord, which is also minor, and E minor. So the, therefore the first one will be E, the third will be G, and the fifth will be B. Okay, and once you have the triads of the major scale, I would recommend to start coming up with little exercises just to, to run those uh, uh, up and down the neck. Um, one such exercise might be like this, where we're going to play two triads, consecutive triads up, and then the next two down. And we're just going to alternate back and forth, going up and down the scale. And it might sound something like this. figure out our notes below and above the chord tones. So if we look at our first chord, the C triad, we need chord tones below and above the C. So we're going to have B is below and D will be above. Go to the third and D will be below, F is above. Go to the fifth and scale step below the G is an F, scale step above is the A. Now that gives us three notes, but I'm going to demonstrate this in a four note pattern. And all we're going to do is we're going to add another, the, the chord tone in between. It's going to go chord tone, step below, chord tone, step above. And we'll have this sound. I'd like to also point out that with this, with a four note pattern, what we can also do is we can have each one going in the same direction. So, for example, uh, we're going C to B, the notes are falling. So instead of going C to D, we're going to go D to C. We're just going to reverse that to those two. And then what we get is kind of a, 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 a falling pattern. Okay, what I'm going to do for you now is play uh, a scale step below and above with a chord tone in between 
and I'm going to do uh, two different demonstrations. That's going to be at 70 and 80 beats per minute. Then I think I'm also going to do, I, I think it would be good to do a chord tone below and above, but going in the same direction. So then it'll be a chord tone, scale step below, scale step above, chord tone. And I'll do that at two tempos as well, at 70 and 80 beats per minute. So there you go, uh, scale steps below and above with a chord tone in between and scale steps below and above going in the same direction. And we were uh, using the triads of the C major scale. And this uh, transcription can be found at musento.com under intermediate and advanced scales and arpeggios, triads. 
and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out Musento, and we'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.